This tutorial is to show you how to make your own ePortfolio using Google Sites. Earlier on another tutorial, I showed you how to find your basic school Google Apps. The basic home screen, once you have logged in, shows you at the top and down to the right Sites, Drive and Docs, Calendar, Contacts, etc. We're going to go ahead and click on Sites once again. And instead of searching for a site like we did before, instead we're going to go over to the right. You can see that these are all sites that have been created. So we're going to create our own. Now later on I will give you more instruction to review about how to do some of the very, very detailed aspects of Google site creation. But here today we're just going to make our basic form. So on the left here, you're going to click on the red button that says Create. Now we're going to be creating um, a blank template and this way we don't have as many issues with trying to reformat a site. So first we're going to name our site and you are going to want to name it this is going to um, something with your name. So basic requirements once again look at your requirement sheet but you need to include ePortfolio and your name. Remember this is a graded aspect of the course so it does need to be appropriate. So I'm going to put down Classroom Demo ePortfolio. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit Create. It's going to give me some more options in just a moment. So you can see here I have a basic form, my basic classroom demo ePortfolio. And I just want to familiarize yourself with a couple different features. Up on the top right corner you can see we have some symbols. The one that looks like a pencil when highlighted is your editing tool. So whenever you want to edit the page you're going to click on this first. If you want to add another subpage, so another page besides home as you can see on the left here, you want to create another hyperlink page, you would hit this button. We also have more features. So if you click there, you can see that we can print a single page. We can save a template. Um, we can also delete pages and so forth as well. So what we wanted, and also on the last corner over here, we can also go in and edit. So the first thing you want to do is we want to create a theme. So I'm going to click on Edit Sidebar. And this allows me to do some extra editing features. Now, Google Sites does not automatically save, so please make sure that you are hitting save after you complete. So I'm going to go down, and the first thing that I want to really do on this page, we don't use a lot of this information, but I do want to change the theme. And when I say theme, I'm talking about the basic background behind. So as you can see, we have many different types of themes. You can preview them before saving. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and choose a random one. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this parchment page. I click on it. I want to preview. I can hit preview. And it brings up a new screen. You can see what it's going to look like. I kind of like that. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. My save has have been changed. And now I'm going to go ahead and go back to my portfolio page. So I'm going to click Classroom Demo ePortfolio. It's going to take me back one screen. And here we are back to our portfolio. Now the purpose of this portfolio is to go ahead and to be able for you to demonstrate what you've learned throughout the year. And eventually by your senior year you'll have a whole collection of documents of what you can do. So let's go to the next thing I want to show you would be to go ahead and create a new page. So I'm going to hit the new page button. 
Now most of our sites are going to simply be web pages. The first thing we need to do is to name it. So one of the required web um, pages will be blog. If we want to choose a different type of web page, I can also have announcements, which is similar to a blog, and that's the one that we want here today. File cabinet, if you're just simply uploading documents. Um, list and start page. So since we're creating a blog page, we do want it to be like a blog, something like Blogger or WordPress. So I'm going to click on announcements, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And here we have, okay, a new page. So now we have home or blog. I'm going to go ahead and create one more page as a demo. Go ahead and follow along. I'm going to create one for this trimester, so 9A English. And I'm going to hit create. It's as simple as that. So now you can see I have a home page, I have a 9A English page, and I have a blog page, which is announcements. Let's go ahead and hit save so I can make sure I save all of these new pages. The final thing that I can do, I'm going to go ahead and go into blog, is that we can write and add things into this page. So we're going to click on the pencil button, it's edit page or pages. And so you can see this allows me to have a toolbar to come up. I can change the font size, the font, um, actual font. I can change bold italics, put in hyperlinks. You can see we have lots of options here including inserting images, inserting calendars, and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And this is the creation of a basic ePortfolio using Google Docs, and specifically Google Sites.